problem 8.3. In this problem, we have a steam which is condensing in the outer surface of a thin wall circular tube, which has a diameter of 50 millimeters and a length of 6 meters. This steam allows the temperature to be uniform in the outer surface of the tube and is equal to 100 Celsius. The temperature of the inlet is given to be 15 Celsius and the outlet is 57. Water flows through the tube at a rate of 0.25 kilograms per second. The goal of the problem is to determine the average convection coefficient associated with the water flow. We assume this problem to be steady. We assume the fluid to be incompressible. We have constant properties. We neglect the wall conduction and we also neglect the viscous dissipation within the flow. Let's start the definition of the convection for this problem. We have that the convection is going to be equal to the average value of the convection coefficient, the surface area, and the log mean temperature difference, delta T, delta. We also note that the amount of convection coefficient for this particular section is going to be equal to the mass flow rate, the value of Cp, the differences between the incoming mean temperature, the outgoing mean temperature, and the incoming mean temperature. If we make these two values equal to each other and we solve for H, we find that the average value, the convection coefficient, is going to be equal to mass flow rate, Cp, divided by phi dl, which is the surface area for this particular case, the differences between the mean temperatures of the outlet and the inlet, once again divided by the log mean temperature difference, which is delta T ln. For us to be able to calculate this uh, average coefficient, we first need to find that delta T ln, which is given as the difference between the surface temperature and the outlet value minus the surface ten temperature and the inlet value. This is all divided by the natural log between the differences of Ts minus the outlet Ts T inlet. Please remember that this relationship is valid only when the temperature of the surface is constant. Once we plug in all the values, we could find that, that this value is equal to 61.6 Celsius. We calculate the value of delta TLM and we substitute it into this equation and we could find that, that, that the average convection coefficient is equal to 755 watts m squared k. Okay. Please go back and double check the values also understand why we're using this particular relationship and it's due to the fact that we have a constant temperature surface uh, instead of a flux which is constant at the surface. 